Hello, welcome back to Fred up in the Radio Shack. Nothing to do with radio, this video. Purely, purely nostalgia. Masses, masses of nostalgia. Now, if you saw the thumbnail, which of course you did, you will know exactly what this is if you was a kid growing up in probably the 50s, 60s and the 70s not so much the 80s but you would know exactly what one of these these were and it is a potato spud gun do you remember them <laughs> oh every boy of about i don't know six seven eight nine years old got himself a spud gun um absolutely fantastic found this on amazon i couldn't believe that they still make them and it looks for all intents and purposes, it looks exactly like the one that I had when I was a boy. Uh, I had a Lone Star, a Lone Star spud gun. And yeah, yeah, it looks really, really nice. This this part is die cast. This is a metal die cast. I think, yeah, this section here is plastic, which isn't a bad thing because they did used to corrode around the barrel here where the barrel slides in. And if you're just if you're young enough not to remember these and you're thinking what the hell is this this is a very low powered pneumatic air pistol if you like this this kind of was your first air pistol when you was a boy and yeah we did we were allowed in those days to go to run around and go over the park and go plinking with tin cans with air pistols but this was your very first one that you would got I think I was about eight years old when I got my first spud gun and it's, it's, it's very strange in 2021 thinking about air pistols and kids, but it was a stepping stone. You got yourself a spud gun. The next one up was a single shot gat gun. Do you remember those? I'll find some pictures. A gat gun, yeah. <laughs> that could fire darts. It would also fire cork, but you could get a 177 pellet and screw it into the back and you could fire a gat gun. And then from there, you went up to a 177 pistol, maybe a a Diana that was a proper mate or a Webley something like that and if you were really really lucky and you bypassed a BB gun you went up to a 177 or even a 22 air rifle again probably a Webley something like that you need I think you needed a license or you needed to be over 16 let me know in the comments if you can remember I've got a feeling you needed a license but anyway this 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 is where it started from this is what you got your first gun was a potato gun a potato spud gun and this looks exactly the same pretty much as a remember it. it does seem smaller but then i've got bigger of course got this from amazon i will leave a link at the end of the video if you want to go and get one yourself they're only about three pounds amazingly these these were and are three function my, my original lone star was three function this is a two function uh gun it fires potato pellets or you get these little rubber corks if you like which uh, i suppose you got with the original one you probably lost those straight away your mum probably put those straight up the hoover but the main thing was it would fire potato pellets we'll take this outside in a moment and we'll test it see if it works it's going to bring back masses of nostalgia i've not fired one of these for 45 years the second function was a water pistol if you you put this uh, cap on the end here and you filled this with water it was a single shot, single squirt water pistol. To be honest, I don't remember the water pistol being particularly good. Also, because the ones that we had back in the day were all metal construction, even this part, it was quite known that if you started using it as a water pistol, this would corrode and you would damage the rubber seal and reduce the power. So we never really used that. Now the final feature, which unfortunately they've seemed to have done away with on this cheap China version was the hammer used to cock back here. Yeah, the hammer used to cock back and you could slide in a single little paper cap. So when you fired the spud pellet out the front, it made a little crack as well. But that, that seems to have, on this model anyway, that seems to have been discontinued. So the spud gun, I, I did do a little bit of research on this when I was waiting for this to come through. It's kind of interesting. It appears that these were invented in the Great Depression years of the 1930s, most likely in America. And they were sold, I think, throughout the Depression. It really took off in just after the Second World War in sort of 1946, where the pattern was sold for $600, which is a sizable amount of money. I worked it out. It's about $26,000 in today's money. So it's not life-changing money. You probably just buy a sort of a reasonable compact car for that nowadays. But yeah, the, the, pa the pattern was sold for uh, in 1946 for 26 k and then the guy that bought the pattern, an E. Joseph Crossman, he then went on to advertise 
the gun in magazines, kids' comics, things like that. And it went phenomenal. Within six months, he had sold two million, two million of these little, little guns. And that's, I think, how we kind of, in, this, in the UK, we found out first, I do believe there was probably adverts, I think there was, in the back of the Dandy and the back of the Beano, where you could uh, send off. I think in those days, yeah, they encourage you to send stamps, postage stamps, not money in the post, but postage stamps, and you could send off and get your first Gat gun. If you couldn't get it from the sweet shop or the toy shop, of course, they were absolutely everywhere. Millions and millions and millions of these were sold, but it all started in the 1930s in the Great Depression. Anyway, there it is. What can I say? It's three pounds. Um, I'm gonna take it outside now. We're gonna go and nick a potato from the good lady. Do you remember when you was a kid, you'd be nicking your mum's potatoes to load this gun up and you, here, here, put that potato back. That's for your dad's Sunday dinner. Oh, go, oh my God. Anyway, masses of nostalgia. Let me go and get a potato. Let's go outside and uh, let's fire it. Let's see if it works. Oh, I can't wait. Right, here we are outdoors and for the first time in 45 years i am loading a potato gun see if i can remember how to do it oh i think i see it yeah i think you held it like that that's right it's coming back it was still there stick that in twist it and there you go it's <laughs> that felt so good i can't describe it right we're just gonna fire this see if it goes and it went that was really easy. Let's try a game. Oh, I've got to remember. Yeah, that's right. Oh, I can't remember. It used to rub just on your hand there. Do you remember that? You didn't get a blister, but load it up. Let's try that down there. Fire it. There we go. Oh, it's so oh, yeah. satisfying. Going to do it again. Oh, that was a bit of a weak one. It's quite sensitive compared to what the... Uh, Got to give it a good pull. <laughs> Let me, I'm going to try and set up a target, see if it works, and then we'll try the water pistol part at the end. But uh, guys, honestly, I must be going a little bit senile, but that is so satisfying. Where are you? <laughs> it brings it all back. That was strangely quite satisfying. But yeah, there you go, spud gun. Right, let's try the water feature that we never dared use when we were kids. The water gun, it works quite well. I was quite surprised it's got quite a range on it. Maybe we should have used these back in the day doing a bit more fun but uh, yeah we're just a bit too scared to use them so there you go <laughs> that's the video what a bit what a bit of a laugh what a nostalgia trip a spud gun that is still made today can you believe it in 2021 I, 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 I really am amazed I'll put a link for these on Amazon you're all, all over eBay they're only about two pound fifty three UK pounds probably about the same in dollars and euros but uh, what a bit of nostalgia. I've had so much fun playing with this stupid little toy here. Um, I'm just a big kid, really. So bring this one to a close. Um, let me know in the comments, did you have one of these guns when you was a kid, or maybe an air pistol? What mischief did you get up to with one of these? Because uh, certainly, I know I did. But there you go. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. And uh, yeah, of course, catch you all on the next one, where normal service will be resumed. Stay safe.